within the realms of your research could you share something insane that you've discovered uh based on scientific proof uh and i hope that this discovery is hyper relatable for myself and the viewers absolutely so think about stress right we all have felt it we go through it every single day so one thing that always fascinated me was in eastern medicine let's say in yoga to combat stress what works best is things like meditation or even breathing exercise like pranayama right so i was always fascinated by that when i practice it i feel amazing right. but to a western audience how do i prove that this is really working so in my practice i combine best of east and west so i really bring in 5000 year of science so what i started doing recently is i started hooking people up to a little device called heart rate variability monitor basically what it is it's a tiny little thing you wear underneath your shirt right on your heart so it almost measure like an ekg yeah. to show how stressed or relaxed you are based on your heart rhythm like ecg ekg e- e- ecg exactly Got it. So in real time it can tell you how stressed someone is or relaxed. Right. So now I tell my patients close your eyes, I teach them alternate nostril breathing, some yoga based breathing exercises and I see that number change right away. Got gotcha. you. So now all the research is coming out saying the way that yoga meditation really work is by activating this one nerve in the body called the vagus nerve. V A G U S, vagus nerve, not like Las Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> so What's fascinating is this vagus nerve starts in the brain and follows this straight path into the pelvis. If you look at the chakras, hmm. there are seven chakras, right? The location of the chakras is exactly matches where this nerve goes to the major organs in the body. Wow. So if it goes into the heart, that's the heart chakra. So in yoga we might say this breathing exercise or this yoga pose activates or opens the heart chakra. In western medicine I say it activates the vagus nerve at the level of the heart. Tomatoes tomatoes, right? Same thing. But it's fascinating for thousands of years ago, you know, people figured out that this is the vagus nerve. If we strengthen this vagus nerve, we're more resilient, we can fight stress. So now I can actually prove this science that's been around for thousands of years. Okay, wow. You've given me a lot of tangents to go down. <laughs> uh I f- want to talk about yoga in general it's something I've been practicing for the last 9 years of my life mm-hmm. some form of meditation have had discoveries have had experiences related to asanas the po- yoga poses as well as breathing exercises mm-hmm. and obviously the meditation I'm also wearing a whoop yeah. uh mm-hmm. so I'm constantly monitoring my stress it's been a month and a half since I'm wearing this mm-hmm. and I've learned a lot about my body yeah. my stress levels drop heavily every time I'm meditating now I have the proof Mm-hmm. uh but as a content creator when we are telling audiences to meditate not everyone takes it up because um they're not able to see the value to their daily lives through meditation they think that giving 20 minutes to a process like that might actually be a slight waste of time and there's other stuff you can do in the 20 minutes uh but again this is happening in my eyes because of a lack of experience in doing meditation which is why My goal was to make a lot of money through my career and then fund research like this to show people scientific proof and I'm super happy that now I don't have to make money. You already <laughs> <laughs> You already doing it. Yeah. Uh I'm so pumped about this conversation for this exact reason. There's mm-hmm. deeper research about meditation and yoga at this point. Mm-hmm. I would love for you to begin by telling us in medical terms from a western lens mm-hmm. about the vagus nerve. then we'll break down what chakras are and we'll also get into breathing exercises stretching meditation all of that but let's start with the vagus nerve yeah so our nervous system which basically how our brain communicates with the rest of the body right the brain is connected each and every cell in the body through nerves they're to always talking to each other and our nervous system has basically an on and off switch so on basically means we're in fight and flight danger stress off means relaxed enjoying life resting digesting food right that's where we really want to be but what people don't realize is that we spend not just hours days weeks months years stuck in that fight and flight that put an it puts an enormous stress on our body but how do we know this right this is where technology can really help us understand what is my vagus nerve really doing by monitoring your ECG by wearing devices like this you can keep an eye on exactly how much time am i spending in that fight and flight 
When we're stuck there, we're aging faster, our immune mm. system is taking a hit, we can't focus, we are anxious, we can't sleep, we can't digest food. It affects every single part of our body. That's why it's so important to understand what is my nervous system doing at any given moment. Wow, okay. So there is a way to manipulate your own nervous system into basically working in a more lubricated manner, right? That's basically, you're assisting your nervous system just work better in the same way that the gym helps you get stronger. I think about vagus nerve, think about it as, as a muscle, right? If I want big biceps, what do I have to do? I have to exercise every day, put some stress, use the biceps every day to make it stronger. So the vagus nerve, if we're not using it, if we're not activating it, we're just stuck in that fight and flight. So the idea is that yoga, breathing exercises, meditation, basically flex your vagus nerve every single day to make it stronger. So no matter how much stress you're facing, you're not going to get stuck in that fight and flight. You're going to be more resilient and get out of it much faster. Okay, so to understand the vagus nerve and it's functioning better, maybe a basic question to begin with, what's the relevance of the vagus nerve for a college student? Vagus nerve is so vital no matter what age you're at. So if you're studying for a big exam, if you're trying to focus, if you're trying to excel in your education or professional career, the goal is for you to be 100% present. You want to use all of your brain. What happens is when we're stressed, we use more primitive part of our brain, right? So we don't remember things that often. So just imagine when you're stressed, what happens? You forget your keys. You forget to do simple things because you're not just present. So by yoga, meditation, by activating your vagus nerve, you supercharge your brain. So you're able to focus much better, remember things much better. Mm. Not only that, process things at a much higher level. So whether you're studying for an exam or career boost, or even when you're in your 60s, brain is something we want to keep active and preserve because you want to be as sharp as possible and no matter what age you are at. Okay, now that we're done with the college student mm -hmm. aspect of things, mm -hmm. uh, the next obvious question is a professional like myself or yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also starting our families. Mm -hmm. So from these perspectives, what's the role of a Vegas nerve? So when you are entering a phase of your life where you are really working hard in your professional life, but personal life also gets busier. So what happens is we're distracted. We're all over the place. We need our vagus nerve to be active for us to stay focused and be highly efficient in every single thing we're doing. When we're distracted, when we're not efficient, that's where stress, anxiety, ADHD, all of these things take place. And we're just losing energy. We get tired easily. We get cranky. Our mood gets affected. So if you want optimal brain for performance for professional life, personal life, it's so important that we activate the vagus nerve. Mm -hmm.